Morning World, it's Sunday, it's run day, it's race day, Amsterdam Marathon today. It's like 20 past seven in the morning, uh, off to the bus station to catch the bus to uh, the start. It's dark, it's raining, it's windy. It's just like being at home. If I wanted to run like this, I'd be on the seafront at Blackpool. But no, it makes it challenging. Um, getting the public transport, there's one bus I can get that will get me there for eight o'clock. And if that's full, we're screwed. So yeah, we're making the trip from the hotel to the Olympic Stadium. Hopefully by the time we get there, the sun should be out. Well, it'll be daylight anyway. Maybe not the sun out, but it'll definitely be daylight. Right, not much more to say, apart from the usual pre-race nerves. Carried a number of gels in my pockets, done all that malarkey. Uh, when we've got some daylight, I'll tell you what the, uh, I'll tell you what the goals are for today. See you all in a bit. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome along. Just before 8 o'clock, we're about an hour away from starting down here on the Amsterdam Marathon. Um, it's still windy, the rain stops, so uh, if it stays like this, it should be okay. Uh, yeah. well, the nerves are starting to kick in now, getting ready for this. Uh, we're going to go for a little jog round to warm up in a moment. Uh, but yeah, an hour to go before the start. Crowds are building outside the stadium. I'm going to come in here to have a look at this. So over there, start and finish in the Olympic Stadium here in Amsterdam. Right, uh, goal-wise, as always, the A goal is to go for about 3.15, 3.20. Failing that, the B goal, let's get about 3.30. C goal is to be under four hours, and I think that might be the case today with the wind. And then the D goal, obviously, is just to get the bloody thing done. Let's get it finished. Uh, no DNFs allowed. So, uh, yeah. But we're going for it. We'll see how far we go before we back off. Uh, it's a bit slippy underfoot at the moment. A lot of leaves around as well, so I uh, might have to throttle back, as he said. Yeah, excited. Getting ready. The atmosphere is building. It's quiet in the stadium, but it's uh, a lot busier outside the stadium. Let's see if I can see over the wall, see if we can show you what's happening out here. <laughs> so yeah baby, exciting times ahead. This is it, the Amsterdam Marathon 2022. I actually booked this marathon three years ago, but due to uh, the big C word and all that malarkey, it's taken three years to get here. Uh, last year I could have run it, but there was a lot of restrictions. You had to uh, quarantine for five days when you got here, so that just wasn't an option. So uh, we're here for 2022. This is Amsterdam. Hope you enjoy the run. This is amazing. I've just come out for a run. Nervous energy, just get warmed up. And this is like a stone's throw from the stadium, which is over there. It's so quiet around here, park. They're down by a canal. People are dirt warming up, just jogging around. Um, Kenyan runners just went flying past me. They were jogging. I can't believe how fast they were still moving. So yeah, getting warmed up in a lovely park. Everybody else seems to be queuing for port toilets. I'm going for a jog. I'm going to enjoy this. I've seen it already in the stadium. Lots of people just doing static stretches and what have you. No, that's, that's a way to get an injury. You need to be warming up, being dynamic, going for a jog and then doing leg swings. Only the closing the gate, twisting the hips and then doing stretches after you've done that dynamic action, not beforehand. Because if you go static stretch on a cold muscle, the chances of it ripping and tearing are greatly increased. So you do those stretches once you've warmed up. So yeah, just keep it dynamic beforehand, static afterwards. Yeah, it's lovely around here, isn't it? Look at this. With all the hustle and bustle over there, but quiet and calm, just to get things into your mind. Brilliant. Quick half workout. 
sixth edition of the TCS Amsterdam Marathon. Here we go! One mile, 748. I know I said I wasn't going to do it, but there you go. 748 into the park. Second mile, 747. Pace spot on. Amsterdam. Whilst I appreciate the kilometre markers, you don't need to be telling me there's 40 kilometres to go, 39 kilometres to go. I know that bit. Just tell me how many I've done at this point. I'll have a countdown when there's 10 left, alright? Come on, come on, come on. Come on, Anthony! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Staying on 5k. It's between the 23 and the 25 as I mean Spot on. Four miles. 741. One pace. Five miles, found the wind. 756. Just a touch slower. Still feeling alright. Mile six, 731. Going up to the 10k. Forty-eight thirty. It's much slower than I wanted to be, but we're still on course. See you again soon. Water down. Seven thirty-nine on mile seven. Now, whilst I'm enjoying Amsterdam, it's a lot of narrow streets. It's wet because it's been raining, and there's a lot of wet leaves about as well. So you've got to watch your feet. But apart from it being congested, it's a nice run. Mile eight, seven thirty six. <coughs> Mile nine, seven thirty one. I'm running down the side of the canal. 
Schedule 20k in 126. It's all right, that's water. Nearly halfway. Half marathon 141 40. Thanks, that's fast. 25k in two hours dead. Things are starting to hurt now. So I'm going to throttle back and I'll be as swift and then pick it up at the end. Oh yeah. 25. Oh 30k in 228. Just been running through a shopping district industrial estate. Mind went, so I've got to choose on now. Try and pick myself up. If anybody tells you this marathon's flat, the line. Up and over, up and over, up and over, so many bridges. Beautiful look, up and over bridges. Right, got highway to hell, ACDC on in the headphones. I'm going to crack on now. 12 kilometres to go. <sighs> Love it, it's what we do it for. Right, 21 miles in. Last one was a 9 minute 40. I'm really starting to suffer. Just the sun's come out. I'm overheating, and that's what's doing me in. Legs feel okay. I'm just so, so hot. I'm taking on water, I'm taking on isotonic, I'm using a sponge. But I'm just still so, so hot. So I'm taking it easy. Last five miles. Here we go. time three hours 39 minutes 53 seconds very pleased with that absolutely gorgeous run city and countryside down by the canal was beautiful absolutely beautiful um, 
the only downside, as I said in the video, was there's some parts where it's just very congested, very narrow paths to run on, lots of people, very congested. But apart from that, it's a fantastic run. If you don't get in the ballot for Berlin, I suggest you do this, it's, like, it's a really good run. Um, but yeah, last, well, I think when we got to about 16, 17 miles running through the shopping industrial estate, uh, very desolate, very hot down there. And I think that's where I lost my fast time because it just head went, it just got too hot. Um, so I slowed down and uh, just coasted into the end. Still great time, don't get me wrong, I'm absolutely over the moon with the time. I know I can do better. And in the right circumstances, I should be able to do it. So that's it. I'll tell you more about this race later when I gather my thoughts. I'm now just leaving, go find the bus, and get back to the hotel. Coffee is calling. Seems like. And I'm back at the hotel. Uh, didn't expect the day to turn out this bright and cheerful. Thought it was going to be overcast and windy. There was a bit of wind on the course. Nothing that we've not run it before. Yeah. Enjoyed today. It's a fair field tomorrow though. But uh, yeah, that was a good one. Staying out here by the airport, we thought we might have been a bit far out. But to be honest, it's less than 10 minutes on the bus, on this direct bus from here to the Olympic Stadium, the Olympic Stadium area. So it's alright actually. 